Hi, this is Mayur, and you are watching Advanced Functions in Smart Reporting Part Three. In continuation to previous parts, in this part, we gonna take a look at advanced function which are available for numeric fields. So let's get started. So here I am in the Report Designer page. I have pulled few fields to play with advanced functions. Number of incidents is something which I have pulled twice because on one we will apply all those advanced functions and with the help of other we will cross check the result okay so click on this drop down icon and click on advanced functions so first we gonna take a look at accumulative total I have selected that click on save so what it does it do accumulation of the values okay so first value was 13 so it hasn't done anything the next value was 2 so 13 plus 2 is equal to 15 and same thing it has done for other values now let us take a look at next advanced function which we have ascending rank it's something which ranks data based on its value so let's click on save so the highest value gets first rank so highest value is 220 which it has ranked first 23 is the second largest value which has ranked second and like that all other values are ranked so bottom 10 rank gives you bottom 10 values top n rank it's something which gives you or which gives you flexibility to define whether you want top 10 or top 3 or top 5 likewise you can define that n value here delta from last it's something which gives you difference with previous previous value so I have selected Delta from last and click on save so here you can see 13 and 2 the previous value of 2 is 13 and Delta which has shown minus 11 2 minus 30 so now let us take a look at next function so other thing I would like to mention here is that here you have an option for percentage so if you had enabled yes so instead of differences it would have shown you the percentage so here my instead of minus 11 it would have shown you the percentage change with respect to the previous value okay so now let us take a look at next function delta from last n it's something which allows you to define n descending rank it's something opposite to ascending rank what we saw in ascending rank difference of columns it's something it allows you to select a column with which you want to calculate the difference okay so I have selected dummy and just click on save so here you can see 13 minus 100 initial value was 13 so difference minus 87 had shown it here now let us take a look at next advanced function the way we have difference of columns similarly we have division by column multiplication of column and addition of column so we are not going to take a look at all those functions you can go ahead and explore all those functions okay so other important function which I gonna take a look at so is natural log it gives you log value okay so next advanced function we gonna take a look at percentage of total which is pretty important function so I have selected that and click on save so it gives you percentage of total so 13 is 5 percent of 280 so, and th th this is how it works okay so now now let us take a look at next advanced function so here you have top 10 rank which gives you top 10 values top n rank which gives you facility to define that n value so I gonna take a look at this particular thing so I have selected top 3 and this is something which I want to mention here user prompt I'm gonna enable that and click on save so when you go on output tab here you can see it asks you whether you want to show top 3 top 2 top 4 likewise okay I'm gonna select top 2 and when you click on refresh report so it only gives you those top 2 values okay so that is why that prompt option is there so guys thank you for watching please watch all other videos of smart reporting to have a better understanding of the product